For today's session, we are going to study how to draw different kinds of shapes in Frata. So, for today, we are not going to use any plugin to do this. This is native features in Frata. So, in the beginning, we are going to start with very easy shapes to draw, square and triangle. And make sure you subscribe for the next session where we will draw another more advanced shapes like trapezium, hexagons and other kind of shape. This is the tutorial just to teach many people how to use custom painter and how to draw any kind of shape that you may need to draw even cycles and other kind of shape using Frata. Some people struggle when they want to draw some kind of custom shapes while developing in Frata. So for today's session, we are going to draw those basic shapes and for the next session, we we'll draw other shapes. So in the beginning, we are going to use what we call custom painter to draw those shapes. So let's create, we are going to draw two shapes for now. We are going to draw square and triangle. So let's start by drawing a square. So we are going to create a square painter so we draw a square painter so with our class we do what we extend a custom painter it's a, a class so we have a custom painter then we create miss, missing override so for the should repaint so we return true but we can turn for sometimes we look into it after so this is the our paint function this is the function that does all the jobs where we receive a canvas so in even in other languages you know what canvas it is it will, it will provide the drawing area of this custom point and the size will help us to get the limits of our painting area so size we can get the width and height of the drawing area so with 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 this cast, custom painter we are going to create its corresponding widget in the widget tree so we we have to repress with those text we use what we call custom paint widget this custom point widget accept what we call foreground pointer painter we pass our square painter so this is a just initialization we have not started to draw a specific shape just this is way to initialize a painter object so we even put a chart this is any kind of widget you can put an image you can put a container you can put everything so we have also to specify the size of this custom pointer so that's the size that we will get when we come here to the size so with this size we specify height let's put like 200 and the width of 200 and the chart to we are going to put a container as a chart to see the painting area so we put color let's put like color dot gray we use shade 100 so you can see this is the painting area do you see this gray gray area this gray shape is where we are going to draw all our shapes that we are going to draw for today we are going to draw a square and after drawing square later we will also draw a triangle so let's start by drawing a square so when we are growing or go, drawing a square first we get the sizes so we get we, we get y y which will be equal to size dot height and we get x that will be equal to size dot width so for now we have the height and the width of the the, the painting area so here yeah, we are going to draw our <coughs> our square so we, we 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 when drawing a square we use 
what we call canvas dot draw path so we have path and paint so with our paint we will have to initialize path object and paint object so we declare path which is equal to path we declare paint which is equal to paint so with the paint we specify the stroke width which will be equal to three you can put whatever you want and we put the color this will be the color of the lines so if you are going for example to draw a square this will be the color of the lines of the square and the stroke width means the size of the line which draws the square so the color let's use like red this will be the color of the the stroke that will be drawing a square so with the path will be directing us with <coughs> coordinates so to know where we are drawing from to is the etc so with our path we have a function which is called move to so when we call this function move to it's the starting position of drawing so move to if we we we, we say move to let's say zero and zero it means we are starting to draw from the upper left corner zero zero it's the upper left corner it means our initial starting position of drawing it's located in the upper left in the upper left corner so you can see where i'm touching the cast it means that our initial position is here when we call this function called move to so after putting our starting position to this upper left corner so we are going to draw a line so moving dot we have to call a function called line two so we are going to call a function called line two so it means we are going to call a line that we read from the starting position you specified to another position so it means if you are going to draw on the square on the x-axis we are going to on the on the y-axis we are going to stay to zero on the y-axis we are going to stay in the upper position and x we maximize as we saw that the x is the maximum width of our color you can see we have our line so let's see why we don't have so this why we have we have y and then zero don't sorry we have let's say a line to x then x will be zero so let's see why it's not drawing the path let's see why it's not style we use the painting style dot stroke you can see that we have draw our first line and you and this is the first line and for what i explained this is not true so let me draw another line so first of all we are going to write to write to draw a line on you can see that we have drawn our first line as expected this means that on the on the y-axis we are still on the zero we still it means we are still on the top but for the x axis we have maximized as we, we initialize the variable called x which represent the maximum width of the box so we draw another line that we leave that we leave from so it means we are going to leave from x to y you can see that now we have another line so 
we are going to this means that we have drawn a line which we read from the rightest point that we reached so we reach to an x to the maximum x and the maximum y so it means we, we move to the bottom right corner of our box so we are going to draw another third line so another third line it means that our line will move to x axis on we move to zero on the x axis yes on the on the on the on the on the, on the, on the x axis we move to zero so to complete our square we are going to write a line which move to zero and zero it means you are going to go back where we started you remember that zero to zero is our starting position of drawing it means that we are going to start to to, to go back to our starting position you can see it in the upper left corner you can see that we have finished drawing a square so i think now everyone can understand this course for so for the next we are going to draw a triangle so triangle is also easy if you have really understood this so the main things to understand here is the starting position and that you draw from the starting position to your new position and when you are going to another position you you go to another position moving from the previous position so so to get our custom path for so this is a square so for the next we are going to draw a triangle so if you have really understood this it will be easy for you so let's even draw a triangle so for a triangle let's start by moving to zero to zero so for the triangle we have to move to x and y directly if we are it means if we are in the upper left corner and we move to maximum x and the maximum y it means we are moving to the bottom right corner it means this is the maximum x and the maximum y you can see that we have drawn a bent line to the another corner so after drawing this line so we are going to not draw another horizontal line it means we are we stay on the maximum y but on the zero x we will turn to another bottom left corner so to complete our triangle we will return to the initial position to get to the starting position we return to zero zero you can see we have completed drawed our triangle so for the next session we we'll study how to draw other kind of shapes like trapezium hexagon and other shapes that are somehow adverse but i think you can understand the logic behind this drawing so thank you very much i hope you subscribe so that you can get the next content on our channel thank you very much